Let's start with somebody they love here in Texas. How about Oklahoma? Yeah, taking on South Carolina. Who you got there? So you're looking at two freshman quarterbacks, Lenora Sellers for uh, South Carolina and Michael Hawkins from Oklahoma. I'm going with South Carolina. There's no way I can pick the Sooners here, baby. Oh, let's go, South Carolina. South Carolina gave themselves a chance to beat Alabama and LSU. So I, I'm going with South Carolina. I like that. It is, uh, it's 10.50 a.m. and OU. <laughs> I think it's going to happen later today. Give me South Carolina. I like them. Yeah, this, this may shock you, but I agree with the crowd behind us. OU sucks. Yeah. <laughs> South, Carolina. <laughs> South Carolina is hot. Oklahoma is not. Game Cox beat the Sooners. I can't allow that to happen with all these South Carolina. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was picking South Carolina all along, but everybody has <coughs> South Carolina. It, whenever in college football, everybody That's thinks it. one thing, the opposite happens. I got Oklahoma. My oh. Oklahoma. I'm too smart. Oh, okay. Just okay. say it. Just <laughs> say it. <laughs> I flipped it on you. Throw that OU up there. Oh there, you go. there we go. LSU, Arkansas. I tell you what, you better be um, be, wary, be wary of Arkansas on their offense. They're able to run the ball very well, but I think the LSU will win a close one on the road. I'm going to take Arkansas. I think they're going to catch LSU right between a big uh, after a big win versus Ole Miss. I love LSU. Legitimately, they win those close games that they're not supposed to win. I like Brian Kelly, but I also like that green quarterback for Arkansas. Full go today, they said. That's a big deal. Give me Arkansas at home against LSU. Yeah, I agree with Coach Saban. I think uh, LSU coming off an um, emotional win at home last week is going to struggle against Arkansas at home, and Arkansas is going to get done the closer. Not so fast, uh. my friend. <laughs> I, of all these, I think the only game we, we don't think we've seen, I don't think so. <laughs> LSU by three points and a field goal to win it. Augusta National style, yeah, yeah, not yeah, so yeah, fast. Right I, I, the, the Taylor Green comment, Pat, is, is valid when he's healthy. We don't know. I mean, LSU, oh God, LSU these last three or four weeks have been getting after the quarterback. I'm going to go with that LSU defense. This is a dangerous game for the Tigers. Ole Miss last week, A&M next week. they got to be ready to play today. Good pick, good pick. It's prime time on ESPN <laughs> tonight. Now, Notre Dame and Georgia Tech reported earlier. Thamel did no Haynes King for the Yellow Jackets. Everybody across the board. Now, Notre Dame's favored by 14 against the Jackets, and everybody's saying the Fighting Irish will win. And a game coming up in a matter of moments, Miami and Louisville. Canes have had a couple of escapes. Tough place to play. Yes, I think it's going to be a shootout, high-scoring game. I do think that late in the game, Cam Ward's going to put his cape on, play Captain Saber team, and the Canes will win again. I like that. Yeah, I'm going to take Miami. Too good a passing team, and Louisville struggled to stop the pass, so I think that's going to give my opportunity. Miami an opportunity to score lots of points. Miami feels like a team of destiny. Yeah. And I like Captain Cam that you're talking about. Give me Miami. There's no way I'm picking Louisville at this particular time where I'm sitting right now. Yeah, not to bring anything personal into this with Louisville. A great city. Love the people. But um, <laughs> I think Miami's going to smoke them. Whoa, whoa. Is there any chance you're going to pick Louisville there? Any, did you watch the film or... No film, nothing. <laughs> Just a great gut. town, great people. Just but a gut feeling. Love Miami. Yeah. <laughs> uh, listen, Miami's yeah, quick score. Downtown. I'm sorry. Miami's quick score offense is too much for them. Miami, close, real close. I apologize here. I am picking. <laughs> I am picking the upset. This is an upset special. Tyler oh. Shuck, oh, Jacory Harris oh. outscore Miami. Look at yeah, I said it. Hey, I think Louisville wins. Hey, Kirk, you like that they arrested him? <laughs> Do I? No. I thought that was I thought that was unacceptable. What's that all about? I didn't get the part where they said hey. he dragged the officer down. I well, you got to buy that guy well, some new you pants. Go. Coming up at noon on the Were you stretching <laughs> in jail? You were literally I, I did. I did stretch in jail. <laughs> <laughs> well, jail was, honestly, it was a touch boring because you're just sitting there. There's nothing. I got nothing. I'm just sitting there staring at the walls. I was was like, there anyone else well, sitting there with you? Might as well do something. Anyone I was by, my, I was no, by myself just sitting there staring at a... Blank walls. I might as well, hey, might as well get some stretch in. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Just, just in case I ever get, get out ready. of here. Get ready to go out and shoot yeah, four under or whatever about your prison it was. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell my tell prison, prison story. About your prison <laughs> state. <laughs> <laughs> what about Michigan, Illinois? I think Jack Taylor is going to be the difference. Michigan's oh. offense has been very one-dimensional because they didn't have a quarterback who could really air it out and throw the ball. I thought the offense showed some progress two weeks ago when Jack entered the game, so I'm going with Michigan. 
Have you ever picked against Michigan? Would he be did. My I, I did, yes. bro. You, you I did? said it. Oh, against okay. USC. I'm taking the line. I, like I'm taking the line. I think uh, Luke Altmaier will make a difference in this game. I think it's a good matchup for Michigan. Give me Uncle Jack Tuttle in the Wolverines. Yeah, I think I like Illinois here. Michigan's had some injuries at QB, and it's a little bit of a rebuilding year for him coming after the national championship. Yeah. Nice pick. Way to go, Dave. I picked that Illinois because it's a big game. Finally, in Illinois, they're not going to be good. Died. I think this is more about Brett Bielema in Illinois yeah. than it is about what's wrong with Michigan. He's really built this program exactly the way you envisioned it. I think Lou Altmaier, as Dez said earlier in the show, has been one of the great stories in college football. Altmaier, that home crowd, close game. I think Illinois wins. All right, Nebraska and Indiana, Indiana unbeaten, but this is easily their biggest test. Really, it is, because I love Nebraska's defense. Um, they've scored, as a team, 38 points off of turnovers. I think they're going to push the Hoosiers, but Indiana will squeak out a victory, Coach. I'm all for Nebraska. I think Nebraska's defense is going to make a difference in this game. Nebraska's black shirts defense just welcomed Brian Boom Sheeney, the punter, to the group. <laughs> so I should pick them automatically. But Coach Sig Signetti was on the show this weekend. I love what he's doing down in Indiana. Give me the Hoosiers. <laughs> yeah, I like Indiana as well here. New coach, good energy this year. They're undefeated, playing at home. Should be a good game. I like Indiana. Yeah, it is. I like where you're doing that. <laughs> Indiana is for real, boy. Quit make fun of them. Can't make fun of him. <laughs> Indiana wins. I, I'm with you guys. You know, Raiola's played really well as a true freshman. He's not turning the ball over, but it's not necessarily an explosive offense. Can he keep pace with Rourke, I think, is the question in this game. Indiana at home, I think this magic keeps going with IU. I like that. Colorado and Arizona. Travis Hunter expected to be back. That's great for uh, Colorado. I think the Arizona struggles on defense. Shador Sanders is one of the best quarterbacks in all of college football. I'm going with Colorado. I'm staying with Colorado this week, too. I'm just back in my man. I'll retweet what Coach Saban just said. Give me Colorado. Colorado as well. Whoa, easy. We're rolling. Colorado, Colorado. Hey, you're doing great, by the way. <laughs> Colorado. I tell you, for fans, the matchup of the weekend, Tedero McMillan, Travis Hunter. I hear there's 20 NFL scouts, maybe GMs there, just to watch that matchup. I know Hunter's a little bit dinged up. I think that'll affect this, the outcome of the game, but... Who did I end up going with? This is like a coin flip <laughs> game for me. Uh, I'm going Arizona. I'm going to go Arizona. There you go. Home win? Yeah. I'm going Arizona at home. Best receiver in the country. Gets Don't matter. The slide That's my edge third. over the best defensive That's my back. third on an island. Coach, yeah, I like Coach had Nebraska on an island for yep. Indiana. I see what happens. Just trying to save the graphic. Kansas State, West Virginia. You know this is big to some. Kansas State go on the road and get another win as they did against Colorado. I think they will. I love the way they run the ball. I know West Virginia runs the ball very well, too, but uh, Kansas State's defense is going to be the difference. I'm going Kansas State. God, I can't believe it. Sorry, you know, Kansas Pat. State been finding ways to win close games, but I'm staying with my home state, West Virginia. Hell, yeah. How about this real quick? In, yeah. in Texas, country road, take me home. Oh, oh you hear it, Scott. <laughs> Yeah. And for that reason, West Virginia is finally going to win one of these games and then go on a run and win the Big 12. Tonight in Morgantown, it starts. Let's go, Coach. Uh, I feel like I watched Kansas State so many times play Texas so tough, and, um, you know, I think they're going to get it done on the road tonight. They just sang, Scotty. They, they just, just sang, sang about West Virginia. Too. It was. <laughs> it was, it was beautiful, job. too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're, you're on the way to win them, win them all. You're doing a terrific job. Kansas State. I, I was almost swayed by that, too. See? <laughs> but every time you bring up West Virginia and they've got a chance, and they, yeah. they lose. So I'm going to go with Kansas State. <laughs> DJ, they do. Get, they, they do. DJ Giddens, Avery Johnson, and that defense. Yeah. Not okay, today. We got West Virginia with Iowa State. They're back home against free fall and UCF. Let's make this one a quick one. Let's go Cyclones. Yeah, Rocco bet Iowa State. Matt Campbell's a real deal. I'll take Iowa State as well. Cyclones. Iowa State. I know you like West Virginia to win the Big 12. I like Iowa State to win the Big 12. They win today. All right. Quinn sweep across the board, favored by two touchdowns. Alabama and Tennessee, third Saturday in October. Alabama still hovering in that abyss. I'm going with the Volunteers. I, I know this is going to be a tough game. It's Tennessee's a tough place to play, uh, but I got to go Bama. Okay. Have you ever picked against Bama? No. <laughs> 
It's not like when they were 28 <laughs> sip against Georgia, you were question, picking against man, them up question. in that suite. You looked miserable <laughs> as hell. You knew what was coming. <laughs> I think what's coming is that Hypo, Nico, Dylan Sampson, that offensive line, that defense, I think they get a massive win. Tennessee's ranked 11th. I think they're top 10 next week after a big win over Alabama. Yeah, I think Alabama coming off two close games last week or the last two weeks, I think they uh, right the ship this week and get it done on the road. Not Ooh. so fast, my friend. Oh, okay. A Alabama outscores Tennessee. Alabama wins. Boy, ten ten we keep waiting for Tennessee's vertical pass game. Nico is struggling to get the ball downfield. Josh Heupel, because of that, it's been more conservative. I, I think it's the home field is the difference. Tough to go into Neyland Stadium when they have a good team. Dylan Sampson running. Turnover margin. Vols find a way at home. Little nobody has clearly lost his little mind. It's 3.30 Eastern time on ABC, and after that one, it will be Georgia and Texas. Their history is brief but meaningful. Tom Landry played his last game as a Longhorn against Georgia. Fran Tarkin in his first as a dog against Texas. Darrell Royals' first game as a head coach against Georgia. Georgia cost Texas a national championship in 1983. And then Sam Ellinger declared that Texas is back. Well, he was about five years or so early, but the Horns are back. But the dogs are here. They're hunkered down, and they ain't going anywhere. Tell the nation what we got. It's you or me. This is what you dream about. These are the games that you come to Texas to play in. Top five matchup. The crowd's going to be pretty juiced up. Two really good programs coming together. Who's not excited about this one? I believe this game will be a high physical and very high moment game. I expect it to be electric, just rowdy and rocking. It's a good measuring stick for where we're at as a program. Fast, 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 stop it! Our guys have been looking forward to this game since the start of the season. This is an SEC championship game. We just want to showcase that we're the best in the world. I think having that dog mentality is everything. We're really excited for the matchup. Our third top five showdown of the night. Herb Street tennis ball gets away. The call <laughs> will not get away from you tonight. Big game. That means Kirk's on the call, so no pick. You, however, Georgia or Texas? You know, we talked about earlier the teams in the SEC, the big teams, the Georgia, right? The Alabamas, the LSUs. All of them have one loss. There's only one team in the SEC with an unblemished record. <laughs> <laughs> So that only means one thing. There's a new sheriff in the SEC. And it ain't Reggie Hammonds. <laughs> it's the Texas Longhorns, baby. Hook them. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows Reggie Hammonds except oh! Nick. <laughs> so I think it's really unfair to me that two of the best assistant coaches who contributed, contributed greatly to our program and the success that we had at Alabama, Sark and Kirby, that I would have to pick one over the other. Uh -huh. So I'm flipping a coin. Texas. <laughs> <laughs> it has been, I love that by the way, both of these coaches coming from the Nick Saban University of Coaching is a big deal because I think Kirby Smart and them damn good dogs are coming into town hungry. I know Hug is not making the trip. I know Hug is not going to be here to maybe do battle with Bevo. But what Kirby Smart is telling his team is, hey, if we want to go where we want to go, today in Austin, we got to beat the hell out of Texas. With that being said, as soon as I get here, and Scotty, you can feel it, you can really sense that the eyes of Texas are upon you. You damn right. I don't know the lyrics. Oh yeah, Scotty. Scotty sing it. To wet the blows his horn. I'll tell you what. I don't know how the horn and Gabriel are gonna go, but I do know that this Georgia team is gonna have to take on a team that is uh, filled with some Texas. Texas! Fly! Everything's bigger in this damn state, and this is one of the biggest wins in college football today. Give me the Longhorns! Show me the money! That's it, brother, but you got to yell that shit! Show me the money! I need to feel you, Jerry! Show me the money! Jerry, you better yell! Show me the money! Remaining undefeated, Scotty Sheffer, sweet jacket, pal! Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I think, I mean... <laughs> Texas has only given up three touchdowns this year. Now, granted, they haven't had a huge test yet. This is their biggest test, but I think Texas is the number one team in the country, and I think they prove it tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh.
the cannon. And now, will LC make it a clean sweep? The difference in this game will be Texas specialty. Remember this name now. Remember these names. Bolden, Golden, right. and Auburn. Right. Those are Texas specialists. We'll help them win. Go Longhorns. <laughs> hey! They're hoping to light that tower. Bird orders tonight.